favourite part of decoration. Um, you might be spending a wee bit more time in the house at the moment and you want something just to cheer yourself up a little bit or you've got um, a party coming up or maybe it's the celebration party for when this is all over. Um, these are really um, fun and easy decorations that you can make. You can even make them at home with the kids just now. Um, and yeah, I'm going to show you how to make them. So I'll just pop this out of the way. Um, so first of all, we're going to um, make our um, honeycomb ball. So these are really, um, really easy to make and you can make them in loads of different sizes as well, which is quite cool. Um, I'm using like a kind of printer paper weight and you can do them with tissue paper as well, but I found that was just so much more tricky because the glue goes through the tissue. Um, so to start, I'm going to take two pieces of paper and just fold them in half and in half again. And just draw my circle. each little ball you will need 16 paper circles um, this will make eight there we go. 16 little circles so now I am going to take a wee bit of paper for my gluing and just grab some PVA this one's good because it's got a little nozzle on it but you could just use the end of a pencil or a wee glue stick and I'm going to just put one little and fold it over so just folding that piece to there and making some little half half moons or segments as I'm going to call them and you want to do that until you've got all 16 glued in half like this okay so then pop them to the side um, here's one that I've already kind of started, so I've got quite a few on here already. Um, I'm going to take my little segment and I'll show you now how to stick them kind of together. So you want to put some glue in the middle of your kind of flat half fold and then one at ten and one at two. So three pieces of glue and then you're just going to stick this piece on top. Oops. Same again until you have all 16 stuck together. So one, two, three. And you probably want to leave that until the glue is completely dry or when you try and unfold it, it'll all break. Here's one that I've done and you can see kind of honeycomb shape. So yeah, it looks really good when they're done. I'm going to do the final stick for this one. So just leave the same again. One, Your middle, 10 and 2, and I'm just going to fold it around and stick it together. So you might need to hold this one for a wee while so it can hold and sticks. But yeah, you can see that really nice honeycomb shape. And that's it. Then you can thread your string through the middle and um, hang on with your decorations. Now I'm going to show you how to make the tassel. So for this you'll need some tissue paper. Um, I have some different colours here. I think I'm going to go for a yellow tassel. So all you need is one sheet of tissue paper. Fold it in half. Um, so this has got like a natural fold on it. It's not completely half but I'm just going to use it as a fold. Just now. And what you want to do is cut strips of the tissue paper, pull about two centimetres apart and all the way up to the top and I'm going to leave maybe about an inch and a half, two inches at the top. So don't cut right to the end. this kind of hula skirt kind of situation. We want to open it up uh, carefully because it tends to rip at this point. 
so that it's completely flat. So I'm just putting my arms under like that. We're now gonna roll it together. So starting at one end, see this middle part here, we're just gonna roll it up. And again, you have to be super careful because it does tend to rip at this point. that end like that, just so there's not a raw edge, and then just keep going. And then, I'm just going to twist this middle section carefully, because again, it, it does like the rip at this point. See the ripping there. You want to avoid that if you can, it doesn't matter too much. And then, I'm just going to keep going, so that I make this wee loop at the top, and that's perfect for the string going through. So you can hang it. So now you've basically got your tassel. I'm just going to finish off the top with a little bit of tape. This is like paper tape, you get this in most kind of stationery shops. Um, and this is a similar colour, but sometimes it looks really nice. Um, you can see here when it's a contrasting colour as well. Um, so I'm just going to cut a piece of this. I'm just going to stick this around the top, and it just finishes it off quite nicely. on the end here. Tie it in place. And that's it. Add your paper balls well and then uh, party time. Yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs>